Bye right, everyone, so time for another video. Uh, we're just gonna look at um, device blueprints and automatic onboarding with CSV files in this video. Um, <clears throat> if you've not already seen the existing videos in the series, then I will have a link to that displayed in the top right hand corner. Uh, the, the videos have been designed in a way where you're supposed to start from video one and um, watch the videos in sequence so you will benefit from uh, viewing that playlist. Just before we get cracking with the video, um, there was a goal set to hit a 1,000 subscribers by uh, 2024. Um, I'm about 15 away from that at the moment. So if you can, if you're not already subscribed, then and you want to help me with that, then please consider hitting that button now. Now let's get on with the video. So just something that I thought I'd demonstrate very quickly is if you go log into 40 Manager, IP set VPN map, traffic view gives you a, an overview of the current topology. So. Um, as you know, if you watch the previous videos, we've got a hub in the UK and a hub in um, France. And then we've got a spoke in Germany and a spoke in Sweden. Um, and I think we're going to add one in Poland or somewhere within that re region as part of this video. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Device Manager, Devices and Groups, Add, de um, add Device, click this little de button here, Device Blueprint, Create New. So we're just going to do Onboarding Blueprint. The device model are all Azure and it's the VM series, I believe. I'm going to automatically link to a real device. We're going to enforce the firmware version. We're going to be a little bit clever because we're actually, the, every other device has been set to 726. We're going to deploy this version, the, the this new appliance on 725 because I want it to go up to 726. We're going to add it into the spoke group. Not going to add it into folder. Public authorization template, no. We don't, do we need to pre-run a CLI template? No. We're going to assign the policy package spoke to it. Provisioning templates, we're going to use the 40 bytes branch template group. And uh, it's not a highly available appliance. So that should be enough. So we're now going to go back into add device, import from CSV, click into the device blueprint, click the blueprint that we've just created and click generate CSV. A CSV file is downloaded to my downloads folder. I'll just open that now. Now that we have got the CSV file downloaded, uh, it's going to want the serial number, the device blueprint name, the appliance name, the branch ID and the loopback IP. Just to point out these are the variables that have been created in previous videos. So just to explain this, imagine being able to do this but for you know 20 devices, uh, sort of having them already known within the 40 manager and as and when they come online, then they just automatically get onboarded to the environment uh, it's pretty cool so let's go i was going to go over and spin up the appliance in azure now and then we're going to add it in uh, just as i said in the introduction um all the appliances have been deployed on 726 i'm going to deliberately put this appliance on 725 because i want it to automatically upgrade on onboarding to 40 manager okay so that instance has been created in azure uh, you can see we've got the serial number again, key bit of information. The firmware version is one revision down than what we've normally been deploying. So we're going to get to take care of that on deployment. Um, I just need to make sure that it's able to speak to the 40 manager and then we can get on the 40 manager instance. Okay, so I've filled out the information in the CSV file. So the serial number, the blueprint 
uh, template, the name that we would like, the branch ID and the loopback ID. So now we need to save that as a CSV file within Excel and then upload it to the manager. So now back into the manager, add device, import from CSV. I'll drag and drop the file here. Drag and drop the CSV file in. You can see that it's imported the variable, so device, blueprint, template name, device name, branch ID, and loopback ID have been imported. Add the device in. There we are, successfully added. So it's added Poland in. Ah, so there we are. So now it's added it in, and it's automatically started to upgrade to... Um, 726 from 725 you can see there it's automatically adding the device and the firmware is taking place you can actually get a, a detailed process re progress report here so you can see that this check was done and the image is being sent over so that's just the appliance now you can see it's on 726 now but I'm assuming that Forty Manager is just doing some post upgrade checks. And there's another task remaining. So that's also just quickly done. So if I go to Device Manager, Devices and Groups. Okay, so now we're going to try and install the policy package to just Poland. Okay, a quick preview of what it's going to do. It looks good to me. Don't do that in the real life, by the way. Make sure you read it properly. I think this one here is Poland, but I'm not sure yet. Yep, so it's got its loop back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can ping everything. Lovely. Info BGP song. Okay, lovely. Get router info. Table off. Cool. So that has come online and it's part of the fabric, let's say it can ping. France, the UK, and Sweden and Germany. Go back to the VPN map. You have to wait for this first page to load, then click over to traffic view. But we should see Poland in here as well. We do. And there we are, there's Poland. And you can see that it can communicate with France and the UK and Sweden. So it's just something to quickly show you. We're doing a ping from Poland to Sweden. You can see that the first ping, the TTL value is 254. And that's because traffic has gone from Poland to the UK to Sweden. But then if you look very closely, you see that the TTL, the time to live value, goes to 255 from the second packet. And that's because traffic, uh, an ADVPN shortcut forms automatically between Poland and Sweden. And that's why you see the TTL value stay at 255 from this moment on because the traffic routes directly between the two sites. And that wraps up this video, and I think that wraps up this 40 Manager series as well. Um, I might add some more videos in the near future around it, a little, bit, a little bit of extensions, but I think we've covered the basics quite well now, and there's some uh, demo equipment that's arrived that I'm, I'm wanting to demonstrate before um, uh, the equipment's asked back. Um, of me 
Uh, I do have an interesting announcement to make uh, sooner rather than later as well. But um, as always, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, help me get to that 1,000 subscribers goal. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. And we shall see you in the next video sooner rather than later. Speak soon.